Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft 365 Central. Today we are going to cover one of the most common questions I receive about Office 365 and that is where is the best place to store or work on one's files within the Office 365 suite of products. So there are multiple places that someone could work, collaborate, store or save the files. This is great and allows for a lot of flexibility, but it can also be confusing, which is why we are going to take a few minutes here today to share some helpful tips for you to consider as you begin your work. The first thing you should know is that there are three places you could potentially save files or work. They are as follows. OneDrive, which again is Microsoft Cloud Storage System. It's similar to Google Drive. If you have used that before or other cloud based storage systems that perhaps you are more familiar with. Then Microsoft Teams which is digital starting point where hub for both staff and students and finally SharePoint which is a publishing and communication platform within Office 365 and ultimately the location you will want to store or work. So it totally depends on what you would like to do and who you would like to work with. So let's take a closer look at each of these tools so that you will be able to determine which one will be the best to maximize your personal workflow. So first up is OneDrive. So OneDrive is all about you and your personal or private documents. Think of it as the me space. This is a great place to store files that you are working on individually or are in a draft form. You are the sole owner of all the files in your OneDrive while you can share the documents with others for collaborative purposes. But the sharing and permissions can get a little tricky with files stored in your OneDrive. So it's the best thing to share those files for a short term with one or two people. If you find yourself sharing or collaborating with another colleagues quite often or with a larger group, you might want to consider sharing files via Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is all about collaboration. Think of it as the vSpace. This is a great place to organize and store files that you share with colleagues. Perhaps a file in Teams where everyone in the team has equal access and editing rights to the documents stored within the team. These could be things that are in a draft form or more permanent copies that multiple people need access to. So use this system instead of emailing those attachments to your colleagues or students and you will find that it's much easier to find what you need. And last up is Microsoft SharePoint, which is best for published documents. Think of it as the us or everyone space. We use Microsoft SharePoint sites for official documents and resources for larger groups of staff and students. For example, our intranet site is a SharePoint site. So as you prepare to master in Microsoft products and services, we have a couple of helpful questions for you to consider to help guide your work with these Microsoft products. So the first one, um, so the first question is, is it related to personal productivity or is it a draft? If the answer to both of those questions is yes, you might want to consider saving that file or document to your personal or private OneDrive. Second we have is, does this involve collaboration with a group? Do I share things or collaborate often with this group or people? If so, perhaps you want to consider saving your files or documents within a team. And lastly, is this information important for a large group? Is this meant for consumption? Then you want to consider saving the files in SharePoint. A quick example would be a finished project and instead of saving the bulk documents, it's a best practice to save final versions or reports of your files. So that is all for today and feel free to request a new video of any topic by clicking the link in the description. Hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.